Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a login registration form or like pop-up form, whatever you want to call it. So basically it name as model login registration forget in WordPress plugin. So with the help of this plugin you will be able to create login page, registration page, forget in page, like basically not page, it will be a pop-up, right? So and it is quite cheap also if you don't want to get a complexity of creating a much uh, simple uh, really simple looking uh, form which will give you login and registration functionality this is the best plugin out there for you so let me give you a quick tour what exactly it will look like you can always come to the official website you can always go through the whole documentation and let me tell you this is the one of the simplest plugin for login and registration and it also has over 1700 sales so this is quite good right so let me give you a quick tour if you click on live review it will go to their website and you can always scroll down and check it it's quite simple i will explain you in video as well okay if you click on the login form demo it will show you what kind of login form you will get okay this is quite simple right you can change the color text and everything and if you click on the registration form you will see how you get a registration form this is good right so let's get started so first of all to install this plugin you need to buy it so you have to buy it i'm assuming you have uh, already bought this plugin because uh, i have bought it and it's on my computer i will just install it on my wordpress website and show you how you can uh, work with this okay cool so let's move toward my wordpress website okay i work on this domain youtube.samaharanclub.com as you guys knows that i personally uh, make all my tutorial videos on this particular subdomain okay and you can see that i have already created a beautiful looking e-commerce website so do let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to give you a quick tour how you can make a very beautiful looking e-commerce website with very simple steps and all the resources will be free like i'm using one of the best page builder out there elementor to make this website and i can literally edit each and every section of this particular page isn't that amazing coming back to the video so first of all coming uh, back to your main domain you have to uh, log into your domain so if you don't know how to log into your domain i will tell you how you can log in so just click on this url and type wp admin wp slash admin and it will redirect you to the dashboard okay if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your hosting so I hope you have those credentials. Okay. So once you are logged in, this is called the dashboard or the backend of the website. So on the left hand side, you will see a lot of things. You don't have to get worried about anything. So I'll just give you a quick tour under the appearance. hood, you will find theme, customization option, widget option, menu, and header footer option. These uh, other options are totally dependent upon what kind of theme you are using. I'm using Astra. That's why I have Astra option as well. So basically under plugin option, you will get the option to add new plugin, delete new plugin. So basically plugin are some extra functionality which enhance your website to get some extra features. Like if you want a slider feature on your website, you need to have a slider plugin up and running backend on your WordPress, WordPress website, right? So under the user section, you will be able to create user, delete user, assign them different role. So basically if somebody uh, register through your website you need to assign them a role right so that's how user uh, section works out i will tell you a setting where you have to check that particular setting make sure that setting is checked i will just tell you right now so under the tool section you will find import export tool site health tool that's it and under the settings here is the important setting to make sure that login and registration form works properly just go to the general setting and make sure this is checked anyone can register because if this is if this isn't checked there will be no registration form on your website so make sure this is checked and click on save now so under the setting option you will see general setting reading writing setting and permalink so basically permalink is also one of the important setting where you set up your link structure like you want your page's name after your domain name or your date anything like that so i generally prefer go to the page name so Let's install that particular plugin. Come here to the plugin section, click on add new and by default, as you can see, there are n numbers of free plugins which has been provided by WordPress. 
but I generally prefer you to go for a premium plugin because it has a lot of extended functionality which a free, premium, a free plugin will never get you. Like if you see the example of Yoast SEO, this is a very wonderful plugin for SEO but the thing is their main key feature has been logged inside their own premium plugin. Like if you're working with Yoast SEO, you know that whenever you uh, do the SEO of a single page or a single article, you can add up to one key phrase. But the thing is that key phrase literally matters a lot. And if you want to add multiple key phrase more than one, you have to get their premium plugin. So this is the marketing strategy just to like give you a free thing, then make it a, a paid, right? So I generally prefer you if you have a little bit of money to invest in the very initial stage of your business. I always suggest you to get a premium theme as well as a premium plugin that will really help you in the long run. Okay, so I'm assuming you have the plugin on your web uh, computer. I'll just upload this, select the file and I'm sure it was this plugin model login and click on install now. So basically installation process totally depend upon your internet speed. Mine was working good. So it already got installed. Let's activate this particular plugin. So Okay, now we have activated that plugin, I guess here you can see and on the left hand side you will see press app, here is where we can make all the changes. So this is pretty basic and simple plugin, there is nothing of like technical things which you have to worry about. Here is the title which you want to give when somebody clicks on the login form, as you can see, uh, this is the login form. You can give this title, welcome back and uh, you can give this a uh, content description subtitle and there we go this will be same as this okay now the registration form registration if you go here and see join us you can type here to join us and click here you can always subtitle and there will be a username and automatic generated password will be go to your what i say gmail account which you will put and you can always add your Google capture. You just have to add the Google API. I guess you can do that. That is super easy. Just you need to click on API and it will redirect to all the uh, steps. That's super easy. You just need to add secret key and all that. Uh, I'm not going right ahead for the Google API. Okay. And after the registration or login is complete, you need to add a redirection link. Like if you somebody log in to your website, where do you want to redirect them? Do you want to redirect them to a sales page? Do you want to redirect them to your home page, shop page, anywhere else? Uh, for this case, I will just redirect them to my home page. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Let's if somebody log in, if somebody registered, then they will go there. If somebody logs out, they will go to home page. Simple. Let's save this. And if you want to change the style, let me see uh, the background color is blue. If you want to change the background color to something like, uh, let it be pinkish uh, or I don't like pink. Let it be green. That will do the work done. Let's save the changes and coming back to the home page because we are going to edit the home page with Elementor and we will add that particular a form in our page okay so i will add a form let's see if it's working or not we will just go down to the very bottom section of this particular page and we will type model and here is the login widget if you just drop it and if you want to give any kind of uh, heading to this let's say just login and as you can see there is logout button because we are already logged in that's why it's saying logout I'll just tell you how you can get it. Okay, let's open this particular website in a private window so that you will get a rough idea. Let's open it. Then we can log in and register whatever we want to. As you can see, there is an option to log in. This is the title of that login. If you click here, login, it will show you this login pop up, right? Here you can enter the username and password and you can select the remember me and it will remember you and you will log in. And if you come here registration, you just have to enter your username and email and it will register automatically. If I type anything random, then it will just sign me up. Gmail.com As you can see how it works. And if I come back to my website, you can see uh, I'm coming back to the user section that user must have been created as a subscriber as you can see 
that user has been created as subscriber and the more you play with the plugin you, the more you come to know i hope you really get this short tutorial how to make a easy simple login page and if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one